Rock County Fiscal Court to order on the 25th day of July 2023 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask our county court clerk, Bess Ralph, to lead us in a prayer and pledge the flag. Let's bow our heads. Lord, we just come for you this afternoon with uh, thankful hearts that we have the opportunity to serve this community. Lord, we just thank you for uh, our country. Lord, we thank you for uh, letting us live in the land of free. Lord, we know it's not perfect, but it's still the best country uh, in the world. Lord, you are so great and you're so mighty, and we just ask you to be with this uh this court tonight to make the right decisions for our county and our citizens. Uh, Lord, you, you are uh, always in charge and uh, we uh, love your guidance and Lord, we open our everyone's heart to, to follow your guidance and uh, not our will, but only your will. We love you, Lord, and we just thank you for uh, forgiving us of our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, baby. Uh, you know, before you have the minutes of the July the 11th meeting, need a motion to approve. Make a motion to approve. Motion by Kenneth Callaway. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Any discussion, corrections, or additions? If there's not, then I'll in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign? Okay. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfer, and that's including a late list. Uh, so I need a motion to approve that with the late list. What are we approving with the late list? Yes. Bill signed. Oh, okay. I thought there was some next year. Okay. I'll make a motion. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Bo Bennett. Uh, any discussion on the bill's claims, payments, and transfers? Any discussion? Thing now, on folks say aye. Uh, Opposed, like sign. Bills are approved. You have the 2023 Sheriff's Annual Orders selling salaries as amended. So. Trying to look if this is something we acknowledge we got or if we really approve it. No, you have to approve it. Where is it? Uh, it's already at the minute. Yeah, I guess we put it because it's got to fit in this budget. Yeah. There you go. But this okay. is reflective of this right here. This right. Yeah. Yes, and this includes what his. Uh, what he gets from the uh, uh, collecting taxes as well is what we're subsidizing, which is <coughs> um, uh, north of a million dollars. So um, I'll acknowledge is that this, do we see the knowledge or are we voting? Uh, no, approved. Yeah, approved. Okay. I'll make a motion to accept the 2023 sheriff. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. <laughs> Any discussion? Uh, being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, uh -huh. like sign. Uh, motion passed. Okay. okay. Next we have the clerks, same thing. I'll make a motion to accept the clerk's annual order setting salaries. Second. Second by Kenneth Callaway. Motion by James Bull. Second by Kenneth Callaway. Is there any discussion or, or questions since the clerk is here? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Close like sign. 
motion passed. Um, we're into our first budget amendment of the year, but we already approved the first reading. We need to approve the second reading of Ordinance 2024-1, budget amendment. This is second reading. I need a motion. I make a motion. Motion by Larry Moore, few. Second the motion. I'll second for he said. Can I discussion? Discussion, yes. Okay. That's what I was gonna say. Remind Mike, me, Mike, I'm sorry. Mike, I'm Mike, substance. What is the amendment on the It's just our balances at the end of the year that have to be carried. The carry over money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just want to make sure I the slept in slide. Is there any other discussion? Being none, on folks say aye. Aye. Post like sign. Motion carries. Uh, you have next. You have the treasurer's annual settlement, and uh, I think what you do is prove that subject to audit. I make the motion to accept the treasurer's annual audit. Uh, Just acknowledge it. Oh, you acknowledge it per per the audit. Okay. Second. Second by Ken Callaway. Uh, any discussion or questions on that? Being none, all in favor say aye. Opposed like sign. That motion carries. Uh, fiscal year 2023 year in review by treasurer. Uh, I don't know that anything approved there. I think if you want to talk about it Ann or you want to that's just to? something that I do for you all that really drills down the numbers by department and my revenue just to give you a so so there's so. no motions to be made it's just if you don't want to ask any questions it's pretty neat it shows like from 2010 to that it's pretty neat how it breaks everything down for you see how the budget's grown through the years yeah any of you got any questions for on that if you don't, our our jailer, Landis Burlock, is here to talk to us about the concert. Thank you. Yes, I have the uh, concert report for the detention center. Uh, I've seen the turnover for records. I can give that to him. That does need to be in the minutes. Yeah. Do we need to acknowledge that? Just yes. an acknowledgement? Uh -huh. I'll make the acknowledgement. Motion with Jason. So, okay. Second to Larry Morphy. Uh, is there any discussion or questions for Landon? He's disappointed if you don't have something to ask him after he's doing all that work and writing that big thick book. But uh, so uh, we go. Uh, we'll get a second on that. Mm -hmm. And so I guess we're ready to vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Pose like sign. It's approved. Okay. If you remember, a couple months ago, uh, in you uh, you guys agreed in the road committee meeting what we could apply to state for for flex funds. It came back all approved except that one little bitty one in uh, at the end of Beta Road, which was gravel. So what we done, we let him use that it's five thousand dollars. He can use that for whatever road falls short. And we'll still be okay. If any of them falls short, he's got that much to shore it up with. Those ones that's on the list. Do you, they all have a copy of the list? Yes. Okay. You all have a copy of it. So I need a motion to approve that. Then each of you have to sign. Make a motion to approve. Motion by Kenneth Callaway. Second. Second by Larry Uh Any questions? Well, go ahead and go, uh, we'll call it. Pull up. Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Okay, it passed, but let's go pass it around. They all got signed. Do you need to sign the top one? Sign the top one. And you know what it is? They got $5,000 and send them out. Does Logan spend all that? Uh, I figure any road that falls short will use it to finish it out. Well. Okay. Okay. 
that's a contract. Well, how about the translation they've all now signed? They're signing. Coming down this way, okay. We'll call us the seconds for that. Thank you. Uh, so sign it again. So we'll get back to the state and hopefully within a very few days we'll be able to get the uh, purchase over to the then. <coughs> Thank you, Bess. You're welcome. Okay. Um, was it two months ago we did those two things? Uh, no, like last year. Last year. Several months ago, we did a resolution for OCDA, for the KPDI, that's the, uh, the, K, uh, the uh, TDA money that goes through them. And it was, it was written from a model resolution. And in the model resolution, it had uh, 501c3 in parentheses. That made it through the, that resolution. We sent it in that way. We've written it over, and I, the only change it made is we took out the 501c3 because it's not as quasi government. It's a board of the fiscal court. So, and a motion to reapprove that resolution. Make a motion to approve. Motion with Kent Callaway. I'll second the motion. Second with Jason Bull. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carried. Charlie Shield. So, so for some of you don't remember, well, for most of you don't remember, in 2021 when Mary Wallace came on board, we wrote a hazard mitigation yeah. grant. I have to give her all the credit for it. It was for two weather sirens uh, due to COVID. We got put on postmark or post, but we got awarded our grant for some of $55,248. And we advertised for bids to for two weather sirens, solar power. And I talked to the state the other day, and they did say, which I've had them they're gonna come in higher than what this is. And once we open bids and accept the bids, uh, we'll reapply for more money, and then they will up our fee. Our take as of right now is 5525 these two weather sirens was talked about, voted on. One will go into Ohio County Park for the campers. The other one will go in the industrial park out there at the time for die sale <coughs> for all their people out there at the time they had. <coughs> so you still have the other plan out there. Now you got the uh, and die sale won't be an empty lot. And you got the brewery. Yes, and they will cover all that area. And the water district has agreed to give me a, a spot of ground because right where their tank is is a high spot for the ground. Well, will you gentlemen write down these bids so you make the motion to have the This is supposed to be complete installed. So this one's from Federal Signal. Is this for both of them? I guess yes, it's supposed to be for both. Yeah. Did we get about 55,000 more? 55,248. Federal signal came in for two of them, $69,084. We got to have one more shot at it here. And somebody must have gave us that. value two way. Who's that? I guess that's at Owensboro. Oh, wow. Yeah. Two way. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
5,276.70. And let me tell you, that's probably the one that gave us the takeoff bid to fly through the ground. Probably. So we need to come up with uh, $28. I'll donate that on my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. And I know you're going to ask me, we haven't used either one. The federal signal we used to use to service our weather siren. Now we use Dwayne Taylor. He serves all weather sirens. Uh, these two are standalone. I don't know if any of y'all have been to the Beaver Amphitheater. They require no electricity, nothing, solar power. So that's the reason we went this route. Okay, uh, I'd like a motion to accept that bid. I'd hope it'd be the lower one. Okay. And well, uh, making this wise, I mean, are they pretty, you know, I know that. Yeah, they won't go out like I'm afraid that every five years we got to replace batteries, but we got to do that in our own vehicle. So they have any warranty? Or Excuse me. Do they have any warranty or anything? They come with supposed to come with a one year warranty, um, and that's complete install too. So there you go. Well, we need a motion on that, Jeff. Uh, yes, sir. I'll make a motion to set the lowest one. Okay. I'll make. I'll second his motion for Ohio Valley. Anyway, that means I don't have to apply for state for extra twenty eight dollars. Uh, his his uh, motion was for uh, pass that. <laughs> I'll do that. Any further discussion? So the solar is pretty well. That's it's it's safe. You don't have to worry about it. And I mean, yeah, I mean the amphitheater over there. That's where theirs is. Yeah. Well, we got theirs for them. Or I know it's the way to go, but I just you know if it in the right place, it, you know, it wasn't getting enough. I, well, supposedly the way it works, they build up the four batteries. That's actually what it works off of DC, not AC, even okay. the ones, because we own 17 of them out here in the county. And they all work off of DC power. So we pay electricity and they charge up the batteries. So when they go off, the battery sets them off. How many do we have? We got 17 total, not counting yeah. the city of Forestville, city of Beardale, or city of Hartford, city of Centertown. And we got two of them down that we are working on trying to get them fixed, but we're still waiting on parts. So this will make 19, or is that going to That will make 19 that we own. The county owns. And the others and don't have to Excuse me. The others are solar powered as well? We only have one. That's the city of Beaverdale. The rest of them runs all off electric, and I would love to switch. Thanks for coming to get another grant? I'm working very hard. I'll get Mary up. She's our grant writer. All right. Uh, any more discussion? No. Being none, I'm folks at I. Post like sign. Motion yes. passed. Uh, I would like to have, and I do mean this time, a short closed session under KRS 61 810, Chapter 1. <laughs> all the letters. I make a motion closed session. Motion to Larry Borkview. Second Kent Callaway. Uh, all in favor, join me in the back. All right. Let's go back to closed session. Open session, I mean. I, uh, motion McKenna. Second. Second by Larry. Uh, I will uh, motion McKenna, second by Larry. Uh, I will say we did no business when we were in that session, but there is some motions to be made uh, now. But we did not actually conduct the business. Which one you want first? You. I'll make a motion on the real estate. We leave it the same. At 7.6. 7.6, that's what it looked last year. No, we'll do it again. We'll do it now. Then, we'll, then we'll do a public hearing on it. It's the same as last year. Yeah, that's what we're doing. It's 7.6, you got that. Mm -hmm. Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Both like sign, motion carried. Now then, Ken. On the second tangible property tax rate, I'll, I'll 
make a recommendation to leave it the same. Make a motion at 7.9%. Your second? Second. Second by Jason Bullock. Any discussion? Being none, on the vote to aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, got one more. Uh, both. Yeah. And I'll make a motion that uh, we follow the state and accept a 6.3% tax rate on uh, motorcraft and watercraft. Okay. Second, Second by Kennedy. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Uh, motion carried. Need to advertise for, for the next court meeting. To, or the last court meeting in August to have a uh, public hearing at quarter tail uh, five. No. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And moving right on. Can we the personnel stuff? What do we got about four or five? Yep. In the personnel now, we're having a lot of people quitting and coming back. That's, that's, I mean, quitting. Uh, Substitute meal driver at the senior center, Linda Schrall. She'll be making thirteen thirty an hour and part time as needed. Uh Roka. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Matthew? Yes. McKenney? Yes. Next we have a this doesn't say, uh, this is not a substitute, this is part time. Okay. Have, all meal drivers are part time, even if they're, they deliver their route. They don't get enough hours to be called full time. So this is Corey Geary, uh, beginning on uh, 7.3, as a meal delivery driver at 13.30 per hour. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Conway? Yes. Morthew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. That, that one's higher. Uh, so another substitute meal delivery driver. Uh, Rhonda Graham. And beginning date 723. And it's, uh, well, I done said it's a meal driver. And it's part time, 1330. Full come. Full up? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Uh, the next one is a seasonal for the golf course. The uh, name is Brandon Phelps. He's making 1353 an hour. Uh, begin date. Uh, doesn't have it, so I'm gonna write it in at. Uh, Should have been Sunday. Seven twenty-five. Okay. No. Seven twenty-three. Yeah, the twenty-third. Seven twenty-three. Okay, go cool. Bullock. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Johnston. Yeah. Calloway. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. One more. This is status change, and it's for Mary Wallace in emergency management from clerk to administrative assistant. Uh, rate the page number on here. There it is. It is too, I'm sorry, 1595, uh, and the new rate of pay will be 1658. So it's just like uh, a little bit there. Effective date 723. Which Bull is this paper? Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Conway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Hold your tips in your little phone. We're ready for committee reports. Uh, I think I, I'm not going to start in the same place on them every time. Uh, so we're back up to uh, one. Just Michael. Uh, the reinforcement committee met this evening and they've all signed off on the mapping that was we had help with from Brad and Bess's office in regards to the magisterial districts and this was signed off on I have the map here 
like to make a motion that we accept. And these are the same, right, Mike? Yes, the same as the current magistrate district. They're all not, they changed it some. They didn't know. We tried to come, they school board come and they didn't come on board, so it left like it was. Because it fit. Did they hear a second? Second. Kenneth, second. Kenneth Callaway. Any discussion? If Bess is here, if you got any questions for her on it. Being none, uh, this is big, you better roll call. Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Okay. We will give this back to Bess and she can submit it to her. We do it to her. Whoever sent it to her. Is there anything other than the massive map? Uh, well, they're going to write a letter. Okay. Okay. Uh, any more? Uh, uh, any more? Uh, thanks, Michael? Okay. Uh, any reports? Yeah. Not for me. Anybody else got any committee reports? Um, I'm just, I, the IDA board meets Friday and then OCDA is going to meet August 1st at 530. So I've just got a couple scheduled as I mentioned. And uh, you're on the golf course committee as well. Yes, if it is going to go ahead and do that then. Please. Okay, so on the golf course committee, there's, there's a needs assessment list and uh, I've been talking to them out there. There's something we need to go ahead and order. If I can go ahead and just get approval, we need to pay for half of it. The other half can come in, but they're 110 days out. Well, we bought the golf course a few years back. We had some donations to some people. They put new greens on. And in the winter, when it's cold, they have to be covered or they, they die. Well, that's been probably 10, 12 years ago. I don't know. They need new tarps. They're $10,795.45. They're on the... Uh, the um, needs assessment list, but I'd like to go ahead and make a motion that we go ahead and order them or get approval order because the guy said they were 110 days out, and that's putting us close to mid November or with December with snow and stuff. I just feel like when we have people donate $50,000 to put those on, we can't sit there and let them die. We took their money from them and stuff. So instead of doing it at the end of August, we go ahead and uh, approve it tonight. Go ahead and make that motion. So I'd like to make a motion case. that uh, we go ahead and uh, approve a bid for $10,795 from S&S turf covers uh, for the golf course covers for all nine holes and allow Ann uh, Melton to make the check. Do I have a second? Can you said from S&S S&S turf covers, LLC. I can send you a copy of the, uh, I'll, I'll email you and Ann a copy of that. Yeah, I'll second that we uh, push process on. Second by both of you. And the reason for that I know is, uh, it's part of the discussion, is uh, I'm aware of it. And uh, I think we're going to look at this a little bit later. But see, we'll be getting into freezing weather within this time thing so they may be forced to go ahead and over. He said they were at least 110 days out. So we go ahead and approve it. If we wait at the end of August, that was going to be September, October, November, and almost into December, you know, and the, I didn't think we could take that chance, so I wanted to go ahead so we could approve it. Any more discussion? Being then, I'll say aye. Aye. Holds like sign. That done. Any more committee reports? Uh, as a magistrate request, Michael, do you have anything else? Nothing from the first district. Okay, uh, Jason, do you have no, anything from the district? Bob? Uh, no. Yeah, we, we have off the county line road, Jersey Road, that uh, has a bridge that the, that the residents have put in place that I, I would like to take a look at and potentially bring on. Uh, the, the request has been to bring it on as a, as a county road. There are four families out there, so just Okay. Okay. Uh, we can either Miranda get you the form, or no, Justin's done that now, right? No. You are. Yeah. Okay. She'll get you the forms, yep. and you'll need to get the property owner to sign off on it. Okay. And then come back. You'll make a motion in court. Okay. And, uh, that's the way we do it. Okay. Well, we gotta have a viewing committee and all those. Yeah. yeah. We'll send the viewing committee and yep. all that, and if we can get it done, it's a little process. Okay. What's the name? Of the 
That's right off of County Line Road, so I, I don't think it actually has a official They have they have when we, when we do that, I'll get with the road because of the certain names. Yeah. We are going to already have them. Yeah. The area, I'll get with you. Yeah. Right and he'll measure so he'll give you the exact amount of distance to go on. Okay. Okay. He goes out to Donald Russell's, right? Yeah. It does. Yeah. 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 And his bedroom. Yeah. Bridge right there. Yeah. Anything else? Larry. I talked to uh, one of the water board members, and they're supposed to do the Union Hill next week. Yes. They mounting out that a utility manager's meeting today. That answer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you? I see it. Justin. No, Justin. Thank you. Anybody got anything for the good of the body? Anybody in the audience? In there? Um, Dustin, can I put you on the spot? All right. Give us a, a, a brief uh, update on the Rosen project. Oh, well, I mean, right now we're still in the process of remodeling. Uh, we, we're looking, we're waiting on a building inspector and uh, I think a health inspector for plumbing. And once that happens, then things will start moving a lot, a lot more quickly than they are now. Good deal. But uh, there's there's a lot to go through because, like I said, the building is almost uh, almost not it's 90 years old for the for the store anyway. Uh, but yeah, and then we're gonna keep moving on. Sounds great. Crowds feel pretty good Friday nights so far this summer. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah pretty good. How the how good a turnout did you have Sunday? I apologize, I wasn't able to make it. Look like a pretty good crowd. Oh, for the for the the documentary thing, it was. I, I always say it's as many people as you want in there, if you're in there. Not all the seats were filled, but enough of them. But there, there, it was a good crowd for, for what it was for. Very good. And, uh, and they've been having some really tough, uh, good talent up there. They will be uh, this week. And then the first week of August, they've got that uh, uh, Mackenzie Bell, the judge, back. And, and also the for his glory and I'm in both of those groups so you might, might want to come in but but there's some really great bands there this week. I've heard that McKenzie Belford get on about the judge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right well uh, if no one else has anything for the good of the body I'm going to call this uh, meeting adjourned.